GVWR, what is it and how does it apply to you? It stands for Gross Vehicle Weight Rating. Any vehicle that you may buy, truck, car, has a GVWR, as well as any trailer that you may buy has a GVWR. You want to become very familiar with that when you're looking to buy your next trailer because it really dictates how much weight you can haul on the trailer. And so if you know you have a, a 10,000 pound skid steer or a 4,500 pound truck or a 20,000 pound bulldozer, you need to know what GVWR that trailer is and then what the, the dry weight of the trailer is to know whether you can haul that piece of equipment or not. A lot of times looks can be deceiving. It's not a scenario where just because I have that much open space, if it fits, it ships. I shouldn't go put a 20,000 uh, pound forklift on this HCT just because it'll fit through the fenders. So you need to become familiar with the GVWR and how much it can handle. On this particular HCT, the GVWR is 14,900 pounds. And the dry weight of this trailer is 3,980 pounds, which means I have just over 10,900 pounds of useful hauling capacity on this HDT. So if I know I have a skid steer, say like a Kubota SVL 95 that weighs in the 11.4 range, 12,000 12, pound range, I would probably be best to go ahead and upgrade to a heavier GVWR option on an HDT because it is slightly would be overloading this trailer. So that's how you, how you calculate GVW, how you make sure that the trailer you're looking at can handle the equipment that you have. Every Diamond C trailer, when it rolls out of the finished door, out of quality inspection, goes across the scales and gets the exact weight of that trailer with any options it has, that, like this HTT has the pop-up winch, has the extra step, aluminum wheels, the heavy-duty fenders, all of those things are factored into the weight that's on this sticker it weighing the 3980 includes all of those things. So I know exactly when I deduct that from the GVWR what I can haul. Another question we get often is how do we calculate GVWR when we design a trailer or release a new model and it has a GVWR? There are several variables that come into play, your axles and what rating they are. So on this trailer, we have two 7,000 pound axles. Your wheels and tires come into play. They have weight ratings, so you add those up and they have to equal a greater amount than what your GVWR is uh, equal to or more. And in this case, they obviously they, they do. Your coupler has to equal a certain amount. But where it gets kind of tricky, most uh, manufacturers for a long time, it was very, very straight across, cut and dry. If you had two 7,000 pound axles, then you rated the trailer at 14,000. But what we started looking at a, years ago is the fact that you have the axles off center. They're not in the dead center of the trailer. If they were, it would not pull very good. It would be hard to distribute weight far enough forward. So the axles are actually slid back a little bit, allowing us to actually prorate the trailer's GVWR. Being that they're not in the center, you wouldn't be distributing all of your weight right on top of the axles. You have transfer weight that goes over onto the truck effectively taking weight off of the axles. So what we do is we prorate this trailer on bumper pulls. We prorate them usually up to about 15% and depending on the weakest link. So in this case, if the coupler is rated at 15,000, we prorate it up to the weakest link because the coupler always carries that stress. So in this case, it's 14,900 pounds, keeping it below the threshold of your weakest link. So you'll see on like big tandem dual goosenecks with two 10K axles, they have a, the coupler on them, on those is rated at 25,000. We prorate them up 25%. And so, because the axles are actually further back than they are on a bumper pool. So throughout the model lineup, you'll see fluctuations of exactly how much we prorate them. And it just depends on the uh, component setup, the ratings of the components and what uh, each individual manufacturer of those components rates those at. For more information on GVWR and other useful articles, jump on diamondc.com and check out the Learning Center.